This is a knockoff Transformers pen. There is an official version of this, but you can obviously tell this one is a bootleg. Especially with words like cool design, cool style, random wireframe hand. On back here you have stolen artwork of the actual product. On the top you have the Autobot logo, which is interesting because usually knockoff companies stay away from using the Autobot and Decepticon logos. Now let's open it up. I find it interesting how the two pieces of plastic are just stuck together with staples. I don't care about packaging, so I'm just gonna rip it open. That was surprisingly easy. Here is the figure itself, and it looks like the head just does not want to come out. It looks like it's a little shy. Don't worry, we all have performance anxiety. Now let's compare this to the actual box art. As you can see, they look nothing alike. I knew what I was getting myself into when buying this, so I'm not really complaining. Actually, yes, I am complaining. It was $20, and I could have spent that money on an actual figure. Let's take a closer look at the head. And as you can see, the head sculpt is super poorly designed. It tries to resemble Optimus, but it fails to do so, miserably. It looks looks like it was put together very poorly, and it doesn't look like they even bothered to give him eyes. I have bought cheaper bootlegs for better quality. And if you look at the box art, the actual product looks completely different. Because this picture is stolen from the actual pen. The smokestacks aren't even the right color. The skirt is also a completely different color. It looks like the feet are fairly accurate, but most of the figure isn't accurate, and it looks very cheap too. But like I said, I knew what I was getting into when I bought a knockoff. You might be able to use this guy for a good custom though. And if you put the head on kind of like this, then you can bring his chest piece down and that way more of his head will be visible. But it still doesn't look that great. Also, there's no way for the chest piece to snap into place so it's constantly loose. Accessories wise, it comes with a shield, the ion blaster, a sword, another blaster, and then this cannon looking thing, another weapon, and another weapon. So accessories wise, it does come with a fair bit of stuff. And if you use some Gundam marker, you might be able to get some good paint application on these. In fact, these might go well with some high grade Gundam figures. This is an entry grade kit, but it'll still work. Let's see. And it fits in pretty well. That's not coming out anytime. However, things don't fit in the peg, but it is able to hold it. So that's good. But let's see how well this actually holds it. Okay, that fits in pretty well. Put the shield on the other hand and that goes in pretty well too. I just wish this chest piece would stay down because it doesn't even tab into place or anything. And even if you can get it down, the figure itself still doesn't look the greatest. Also, this thing comes with no instructions. So I'm not entirely sure how to transfer transform it. I mean, these clearly look like they come out. Oh. <laughs> Oh god. Don't worry, you just snap it back in to fix it. So let's look at the actual picture to see if we can figure out how to transform it. These come out right here, and it looks like the feet go like that, and then it looks like it tabs in together there. It doesn't really snap together. And then I assume this goes all the way up there. Uh, we'll leave that out for now. And then it looks like you do the arms like this. Actually, let's put the head back in. And this does not want to go any further down. And then I guess you just gotta fiddle with this until it goes in. And there you go, here's the pen mode, I guess. It looks awful, and the legs still won't snap in. And I think these are supposed to go up here. Oh, I don't think I was supposed to do that. Oh no. Yeah, that's not good. I think I was supposed to twist it up like that. Oh well. This thing sucks. Now the ink cartridges are supposed to be in here. Let's see. Ah, it's flying everywhere. Let me get a piece of paper. Here, this works. Let's put this in. Uh, that's close enough. Let's see if this works. Oh, okay. Does not hold in place. This thing kind of sucks. The cartridges do right. It just doesn't hold in the figure. Let's bring him back into robot mode and put these back in here. Also, this is stuck down here now, so I can't get it back up. And honestly, I don't care that much to even try. Now let's move on to articulation. The arms can move three, six, oh. My bad. Articulation wise, the arms can move 360 degrees. Elbows can bend. The hands can barely move. The arm here can also, um, let's pretend that never happened. The arm here can also, we're just gonna skip that. The head is on a ball joint and can move 360 degrees. It can also look up and down and around. The legs can go out that far. The legs can go up that far and back that far. And there's a knee bend. And the feet are on ball joints. So articulation wise, this figure isn't that bad. This cost me $20 off Amazon, but I probably could have gotten it for much cheaper off AliExpress. Anyway, size comparison. Here it is next to the small legacy version of Optimus Prime. Siege Optimus Prime. Alternator's Optimus, and I did 3D print him a katana. And here it is next to a knockoff masterpiece. And out of all the knockoffs that I own, this one is significantly the worst. This version of Prime is absolutely amazing, even despite being a knockoff. Let me know if you want to see a review on this figure in the comments below. This knockoff Ravager USB is much better than this. 
And I guess it's because it's a much more simpler design, but this is garbage. I do like the way the chest is sculpted. He does have some molded detail all around him. There's even little gears right here, but there's a lot of like marks on the plastic. It's honestly not even worth being a desk piece, especially now considering that I broke it. But like I said, I knew what I was getting into when I bought this. Also, I do Patreon for only $1 a month where I'll be posting my toy photography. If you want to see more Transformers reviews, check out this one right here and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for future videos.